all high school football plans in Lee County took a drastic Absolutely. change within it's the last be, couple of hours. It's going to be very different because Charlotte County started and now Lee County followed. Things mm -hmm. are going to be different. Uh, it won't be, you know, it's not a big uh, radical thing. We'll get used to it, but it will be different. Yeah, swapping the Friday night fights for afternoon action will have a big effect on prep football fans, coaches, and players throughout the Lee and Charlotte County. So the Fort Myers High Green Wave is getting ready for the homecoming game against Estero. And the athletes who are used to Friday night lights will be playing in the daylight as the game will start at 1. And with the kickoffs being moved to the afternoons right in the middle of record heat for this time of year, coaches say they're going to take precautions to make sure their players don't suffer. Luckily, they're used to it. They've been working out in the high temperatures every day since August. You know, we practice every day in it. So uh, we're not looking for anything, any, any drastic change, because we work in it every day at 3 o'clock. So basically, it's just as hot at 3 o'clock as it is at 1 o'clock. So... <coughs> Uh, I think we'll be able to cope with the situation. Now here's a rundown of the games that we know have been moved to Friday afternoon. As we said, Estero plays Fort Myers at 1 tomorrow. At 2, Cypress Lake hosts Venice. Then at 3, Bishop Verreau plays Braddock High from Miami. Also at 3, it'll be Cape Coral at Riverdale. North Fort Myers hosts Glade Central from Belle Glade at 3.30. Uh, so far, Collier County games aren't affected, so Mariner and Laley will play tomorrow night at 8, as will Baron Collier at Naples. Games moved to Saturday are Charlotte at Lemon Bay at 1 o'clock in a big Charlotte County battle. Another one, Immokalee at Port Charlotte is at 2, and also at 2, Lake Placid at DeSoto up in Arcadia. Well, so far, the World Series has been a mismatch, just like many people thought, except for Marisa, of course. Yeah. The catch is it's the Reds who have a 2-0 lead over the heavily favored world champion A's. The Reds won Game 2 last night in the 10th inning when Joe Oliver bounced the double just fair down the third base line to bring home Billy Bates with a winning run. The 5-4 victory puts Cincinnati in good shape as they head to Oakland for games three and four and maybe five. Now the A's have to win four of the next five to hold on to their title, and the odds are definitely against them. And trying to juggle a family and a career is hard enough for anyone, but for a professional athlete, it may be even harder. Fort Myers golf touring pro Terry Jo Myers is putting her game back on course while trying to bring up baby. The family affairs in this week's Sports Spotlight. Terry Joe Myers is finally back in the swing of things on the LPGA Tour. The Fort Myers High School graduate is putting the finishing touches on her best all-around season as a pro. Two years ago, Terry Joe realized every golfer's dream. Her first career tour win came at the Mayflower Classic in Indianapolis. But her 1989 season was both the best of times and the worst of times. She kept playing while expecting her first child and struggled on the course. After Taylor Joe was born, Terry Joe struggled with a different handicap. Juggling motherhood and a golf career was a lot to handle. But now that her daughter is nearly 15 months old, Terry Joe's game and attitude are finally up to par again. Taylor's adjusted real well, quite well, probably better than myself. You know, I feel guilty sometimes because I'm taking her away from her father, but she seems to be great, so I just have taken on her attitude. She's having fun, so we're having fun. As one of the few moms on tour, Terry Joe has earned respect from the other players who admire what she goes through every week. In the beginning, she was worrying about do I have the milk for the formulas or whatever it is you know, on diapers and all those things? And, and I'm just trying to take care of myself and getting tired out. Now, even as she heads into the final couple of weeks of the LPGA season, Terry Jo can't wait for the 1991 tour to begin. I strongly feel that I'm going to have a great year next year. I'm at that age now. I'm 28, mm -hmm. pushing older. And I just feel next year will be my sixth year on tour. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a great year next year. It wouldn't surprise me. Quite a golf tandem we have from Fort Myers High. Not only Terry Joe, but of course Nolan Henke also went to Fort Myers. He won his first on the PGA Tour and is playing great. Terry Joe's finally got her swing back and she's playing well too. Look for both of those two to, to be big players on the tour in the next few years. Super, thanks. Nolan making some long-awaited trips to the bank this yeah, exactly. year. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to ride.